cared about. So, right. Dr. Mello, explain. As a native of South Los Angeles, I'm um, actually running for Congress 2022, so policy is very important. But one of the things that I, I really am compassionate about, I understand the immigrant issues. One of the things that I, I do um, feel compassionate about is someone who's trying to seek asylum okay. from an abusive country. That's understandable. But when you have a country that's already devastated, um, especially with this urban um, black and brown Native American treatment of how mass incarceration directly affects these uh, low, the black and brown people, how um, housing, you know, affects everyone, but particularly the black and brown communities, how it's devastated. And representing South Los Angeles, I would like to see some more resources to, especially the youth of all races. But with ICE, that is cracking down on immigration. Oh, you say, oh, you know, everyone deserves a right. Yes, but when you're talking to uh, a, a country that already don't have jobs for its own people, and then you want to take those rights away mm -hmm. and help somebody else who is not even, not all of them are even trying to contribute. You have a lot of immigrants that do come here and then when they do make a way, they don't even work together with their neighbor. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm talking specifically experience from South LA. Mm -hmm. I have So tell me how legal immigration has hurt the black community. Well, before immigration was even an issue, the blacks were already mistreated with lack of education. Schools like Washington Prep and Southwest College are completely every year um, decreasing in resources. Uh, so when we have Mark Riley Thomas that's been depriving simple resources of building urban mm -hmm. centers for these kids out in the so street. So you're saying to me that. that Mark Ridley Thomas cares more about illegals than he does the constituents, Absolutely. the citizens in his own community? Absolutely. Okay, and, and I, I have to ask, I, I'm not trying to lead, but also to find out. Yes. Do, do you know, do you know, did you know a guy named uh, Terry Anderson? Terry Anderson, sounds familiar. He was a radio, he was a radio host in South LA and his issue was illegal immigration. And yes. he talked about how black communities were firebombed yes. by illegals. Right. And how it never makes the news. Of course. And not. he talked about how, um, you know, even in the prison populations now, right. citizens are routinely ravaged by the illegal gangs. Absolutely. And, and, and that's, uh, that's uh, constructed by design. So also when you have skid row homelessness, it's constructed by design. So when you keep mm. a certain population in a certain area, because it's more money, to keep them in prison for the sponsors. So, so would you why. so would you agree that we need to start putting American needs first? Absolutely, that's a given. I mean, any country that you have, you want to put the the citizens first. That, that that's that's only common sense. Sure. Okay. And so when you have rights and when you have lawyers like the ACLU, which stands for American Civil Liberties Union. The key word is American. Yes. They started out with the, with defending the civil rights of American citizens. Right. Now all of the ACLU officers are now focused on immigration. So now we really don't have any uh, representation. So let me ask you this: community. which you said you're running for Congress? Yes. Which district? 54. I'm sorry, 43rd. Uh, you're running Maxine against Maxine Waters. Waters. Yes. You know, Maxine. Wa I actually met Maxine Waters in Congress, and I had a black friend of mine, and she would not meet with my friend Chanel. But Maxine Waters would meet with me. And I said right to her face, I'm not afraid of anybody. Mm -hmm. I said to her, you don't care about black people. No. You're putting illegals ahead of... And you know what she said to me in her office, of course, with the cameras not rolling? Right. She said, the illegals are here to stay. That's great. But what about the American citizens and, who, mm -hmm. who don't even live in their area? She lives in Hancock Park yep. in a $4.4 million mansion. Mm -hmm. And her scheduler, Blanca Jimenez. And I want you to remember that because when you see Maxine Waters, <laughs> you also need to know her direct scheduler, Blanca Jimenez, who told me directly to my face when we asked for resources for South LA Youth for a resource center for Maxine Waters to build for that. She told me, you don't know who we represent. Before you come in to walk into our office, office on Broadway and Century yep. that you need to know who we represent. So I said... Now that was Jimenez. I, she that said that. That was Blanca Jimenez. And so answer that question. Who does she represent? She represents her own community. She represents... Actually, Blanca... Illegals. Jimenez, yes. Blanca Jimenez has a... Um, has an agenda herself and where she wants to build up her own company away from um, South LA needs. Now I'm going to...